going right now, but I feel good. Let's see when I wake up in the morning, after I sleep, how it feels. Am I stiff? Am I going to be able to go tomorrow? So probably it's going to be LeBron and Russ. And he might be able to put up numbers like that again. Because again, Skip, is he and LeBron will get the lion's share of the shots. But you and I both know if LeBron James is on the court, Anthony Davis and, and Russell Westbrook will not get 58 shot attempts between the two of them. Okay, so back to your man AD before we leave that behind. Yes. In the first quarter, he blocked a shot and seemed to hurt his shoulder and went down writhing for a while. Right. And then with 32 seconds left in the game, if we could see this. He got fouled. He, he banged knees with the They don't bang Murray. no knees. The man pushed him. got pushed him. Skip, no, look at that. He banged knees. He just hit knees. He said it stung. That's all. And he went down, and I thought, uh-oh, this could be the yeah, end of your year. That, that, like, I, I really thought, <laughs> I thought is this so it? Too. Is this the end of it? Yet, when they showed the replay, it didn't look like the kind of play that would tear something in it your knee. It looked like a non-contact, like he just went down. I, I, I didn't know, but I do think they hit kneecaps. Okay. I, I do. I think they banged kneecaps because DeJounte just attacked across the lane. And AD foul. said, I didn't have any problem. He didn't say it was a foul. I said it was a foul. Okay, you said it was a foul. And then... Just like LeBron, he went Lazarus. He just rose ah, from the there you go, he went he Lazarus bounced, now. He, all of a sudden, he bounced up, and I'm like, I think he's okay. He's walking. He's trotting. He's running. And then he's what he playing. do? And then what he do in overtime? He's Took it over. Dominated. Took it over. I don't think he dominated quite like Russ dominated. Oh, he had them putbacks. Yep. Okay. What about he them had putbacks? A few putbacks? He had few, and and he was really good. But the what was the statement play of the night? Was Russell Westbrook? Could we see this going coast to coast for a thunder dunk? Speaking of Oklahoma City, oh, yeah, we where he started <laughs> a thunder dunk <laughs> that that just brought the house down. Here we go. Here's Jakob's miss. And guess who grabs the rebound? And here he comes, and here he comes, and we're talking hell-bent Russ on DeJounte, and he just says, oh, stop it. And over uh, Bates Diop, he just slams it, and this brought the house down. And you know, Mr. Sharp, why it brought the house down? Because Laker Nation took, took over they took over AT everywhere. <laughs> they just took it over last night. It was shameful. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have been the biggest Spurs fan since George Iceman Gervin back in the 80s. And it was hard for me to watch this game because you, usually if I'm watching and then maybe I need to hit the restroom real quick, I can, I can just listen to the crowd right. by, to, to tell me what's happening. Right. And if the crowd roars, you would think, San Antonio just made right. a big three, right? <laughs> and instead, if the crowd was roaring, yeah, it meant the Lakers. So that brought the house down literally for Laker Nation. Right. Yes. Because it, it even seemed like as the game progressed, there were more and more yellow or gold, whatever you call them, jerseys. Skip, the, the Lakers are like your Cowboys. They travel they like do. the Steelers. They travel like the Packers. They travel. They're just certain. The Lakers are going to they're going to pack. First of all, they got LeBron. And then again, they got the brand, the Lakers. And we know what the Laker brand is in the NBA. I get it. The Knicks are more valuable. I get the Warriors are more valuable. But nobody br brings a crowd like the Lakers because that brand means something. It's synonymous yep. with winning, and it always has been. And now you got LeBron, and you got Russ, and you got AD. So it, it, on a given night, Skip, you know, a lot of times when you had one superstar, if he sat out, oh, man, we got nothing. Even though LeBron sat out, you still had Russ and AD. Yep. And even if AD sits out, you're going to have Russ and LeBron. So if one of the guys sit out, you still get an opportunity to see two superstars. Mm. Russ was great. There's no other way around it. But, Skip, at the end of the day, you know this and everybody else knows this. What does it matter if LeBron is not on the court and he can't do this? Correct. But I will give Russ this. He actually made one three when it really mattered. Oh, man, I think what the— And it was 541 <laughs> left. If we could see this, this is a tie game. Yes. And I'm saying, seriously? Yeah. I, I couldn't believe he shot it, but then he shot it with— they're just daring him to shoot. Jakob sort of. He shoots all over confidence. <laughs> I, I agree. And and guess what? He made it. And, and he swished it. Yes. He swished it. That's his first three of the night, one of four. And that put them up three, three points with five and a half minutes to go. That was a pretty big shot. Skip, you and I both know the one thing Russell Westbrook does not lack is confidence. No. Nope. He shoots every shot. He, you, you would swear he's Steph Curry. And the, way, the one thing he does lack is memory. He yeah, has no yeah, memory. Yeah, 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 no yeah, yeah, yeah. He forgot. Right? He forgot. They he's they're like raised, a, he's they're like, raised his memory, Skip. He's like a great cornerback. <laughs> you, you just, he doesn't remember the last play. Right. He just plays. Good, as bad, hard or indifferent. He he's Russ. And then speaking of making threes, we got to show what your man, your new man, your new starter last night, Malik Monk, did with just 58 seconds left. He took a 31-foot three. This is five feet beyond the three-point line. 
and he took it with Russell Westbrook confidence and just ripped it. And and look at the box score. I don't it think I've ever. He, look at his plus <laughs> minus of, of your starters. He's plus thirty one. I've never seen a box score like this. How can you be? He he. Played, nobody else was even double figures. He played thirty nine minutes and he was a plus thirty one, and nobody else was even close to <laughs> no, double <nobody>. figures. <laughs> the, the high would be Bazemore with six, right? Of the starters, and yeah. your whole bench was minus. Yeah. And except you, except Dwight. Dwight was plus twelve. I'm sorry, Dwight was plus twelve, but. Even your man Carmelo, he fell back to earth with a thud yeah, last night. Yeah, but that was did. predictable. Yeah. One of seven and 0 for four. But Skip, it was it was AD and Dwight lineup in the fourth that that really turned this thing around and got going because they were challenging everything. Going big, big. Yes, yes. There was nothing. Everything was getting contested at the rim. AD would block one. Dwight would challenge and block another. So it was them that in the fourth that really turned this thing around. That all of a sudden. The Lakers were able to get back, get some stops, and make make it on the other end. But it was their free throw shooting down the stretch. You go, or you can't go over seven because you could have iced the game. You could have finished the game off at the free throw line. Yeah. So my man, Coach Popovich, says after the game, "I'm so proud of these guys." And I'm thinking, you're proud of 0 for seven? I mean, once upon a time, Pop would have been out of his mind, snapping the heads off of reporters for asking after the game about 0 for 7. Well, Skip, that's when he had four Hall of Famers. That you got Kawhi, you got, you got Tony Parker, Ginobili, and Duncan. That's something entirely different than what you have right now. He understands he has a young team, but Skip, they play hard. Mm -hmm. They get in and out of their sets. They move the basketball. And Pop even wanted to move with faster pace than what they were playing with last he, night. He kept doing this yeah. and go. But, but Skip, when you're young, and AD said it, when you're young, Skip, you don't know what you don't know. Yep. You just get up and down the court. So finally, my man DeJounte Murray got off to a slow start, but then he put up huge numbers because yeah. he goes 21, 12, and 15. That'll work, right. right? But he had a shot that was a pretty clean look to change our conversation, yeah. right? We yeah. wouldn't be having this rush conversation. The shot? No, it's just, just off the, the, oh, the, the free okay. throw line. I mean, this is... It's a pretty good look over yeah. Carmelo, and, and he just left it a touch short. He hit a couple of those early. He did. And if that goes in, we're talking about Russell West Brick. No, nah, Russell would have brought him back. You think Russ so? was not going to let him lose. Russ and AD said, we're not losing tonight. Well, so that, we're not going to give Skip Bayless material to talk about okay. tomorrow morning. Well, well that, that shot was like two seconds left, so I don't know. Would somebody have hit a bomb? Russ. Okay. Would have went from one end to the other. Would he? Yeah. Okay. Coast to coast, Russ. Yeah, yeah. I loved him last night. I don't think LeBron. No, loved no, 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 no. I no. think LeBron's over there just watching a horror movie, saying, "I got to figure out how to play with that." And, and Skip, we've talked about this at nauseum. There are games that Russ will be able to win you that Buddy Hill will not be able to win you. And I believe this is what LeBron and AD's thinking was. If we have an off night in the playoff, we need another superstar. That's what makes the Nets almost unbeatable in a series. Because if James Harden and KD have an off night, Kyrie could go get 35-40. If Kyrie, James Harden, you, we know what KD can do. We know what James Harden can do. The question is the likelihood of a role player going to get you 30. Now, we see an anomaly like a Terrence Mann did against Utah skip where he goes and get 39. But that's few and far between that we've seen role players have those type mm. of impact on a game. We superstars, is that's why you get them. Mm. Because of the playoffs, they're more time than not to come up big for you. Yep. So for me, I just need to see them get some time together on the court. And come All-Star game, I think this thing gonna be a fine oil machine. Is it? And you will be sitting over there sweating. Mm. Shirt be drenched. Like well, somebody pulled a bucket of water on your head. I'm cool as a kid. Yeah, you cool right, right now. now. You cool right now, Kobe. We for what we five, what, five games in, two yep. games, four games yep. in. But all I know is it's now on to Oklahoma City for uh, the second night of a road back to back, but that's of your first 15 games. You have 12 home games and you have three that, easy road games. First of all, really? You, look, hold on. Who you, made this schedule? LeBron. It's 82 games. Yeah. You play 42 at home, 42 yeah. on the road. Mm. So if you play this many home games early, <laughs> guess okay. what that means late? You're going to play a lot of your games late on the road. It's okay. It's going to balance yeah, LeBron out. LeBron called the commission and said, hey, uh, I, I man, need, a little, I need to call no in a little favor here because I got a new guy in town and I, got a, I need some easy games to try to figure him out. Here's the thing. Now, maybe next year, maybe LeBron said, hey, commission, I need you a favor. Mm. Like games. 35 through 50, I need uh -huh. a home because I'm going to break the record. Uh -huh. Maybe then I would give and say, you know what, Skip? I don't know. It look a little suspicious. We mm. got like 12 games at home in a row mm. in the middle of the season. Mm. But not now. Mm.
Well, maybe you could play a G League schedule. Nah, I don't know. Go. <laughs> oh, look, they also not San Antonio G League guys. <laughs> it kind of looked like it last Man, night. Man, stop it. They're just the young teams. They got some young players that play hard. Mm. Lonnie Walker came in just bombing away. I like Lonnie Vassal Walker. just bombing away. Yep. Mm. Think they're going to make the playoffs? <laughs> No. No, say all that. You say yeah. all that. Thank you. Next. <laughs> uh, stick around. We are not done talking about LeBron, the ankle, the injury, his status moving forward. Plus, we'll hear exactly what Mike Tomlin had to say about potentially Ooh. leaving the Steelers <laughs> for USC. This was all over social media yesterday, and I'm very curious both of your thoughts. Bet they won't be stick asking around. that question anymore. Stick around. <laughs>